Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I want to talk to you guys about alt tags on your images in your Etsy listings. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the like and subscribe below as that does give me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Etsy just doesn't seem to want to give up. They have just rolled out a new feature that may or may not be available in your shop where you have the ability to alter the alt tags on your listings in Etsy. And for those of you who don't know what alt tags are, alt tags are simply just text that is utilized for things for the visually impaired. And so screen readers will pick up on this alternate text and read it to the person who is utilizing the screen reader. This is required per the ADA, which is the American Disabilities Act and allows people to upload these alt tags to their images and so the screen readers will pick them up. Now by default, SE has always utilized the listing title as the alt tag, but for things that are very, um, I wanna say descriptive, the tag, uh, the titles don't always do the best job. And so Etsy is rolling out the ability to use the alt tags. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what that article looks like. So it talks about how to add an, a text alternative to your listing. And they talk about the alt text, providing an image description to buyers who can't see what you're showing in your listing images. If your default shop language is set to English, you can add an image description for each of your listing images so that your content is accessible to blind and low vision individuals. These descriptions don't appear visually on the page. Adding a text alternative to your listing image also positively be impacts your listing SEO. So when Etsy says that it positively impacts your SEO, I have no flipping clue what they're talking about. They may be referring to Google metadata that might be being pulled, but when they talk about this, it just makes no sense because it doesn't really pull into the Etsy algorithm. So I wouldn't spend too much time stressing about this. When you start to create new listings, if this is something that you would like to add, then I highly encourage you to do so. I feel like it is way more important for physical products to include this alt text, whereas in digital products, if you are utilizing the proper methods of tagging your items, you should have a very descriptive title that just has three main keyword, keywords describing what you're selling. Therefore, it won't have such a great impact on you, okay? So again, to add the alt text, you want to go to their shop manager and go to listings, uh, select your listing, and then add the alt text and choose save. And I will show you how to do that. They talk about how to write a great image description and recommend keeping it up, um, up to 250 characters or even less. So example of the alt text for something like this is you would hover over the photo, it would show you the alt text, and this is what the alt text would be for this particular item, describing exactly what this is, which is a watch display holder resting on a table made of a long wooden block base with three thick round columns sticking up enough for a watch band to sit sideways. The reason why this is important is for, because people who have some sort of vision impairment aren't able to see that photo on Etsy and the alt text allows them to be able to visualize that in their mind, okay? Same thing for these earrings. And then, you know, talking about how you describe size chart, uh, basically you wanna describe it in as much detail as possible. Um, and then what happens if you don't add text alternatives? Again, they're just going to use your titles. So I actually tried to play around with this in my shop a little bit. And I waited for about 30 minutes and didn't see any changes. So I may very well have to clear out my cache. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and see if that changes anything. So I did go ahead and clear my cache, but that didn't fix anything. So for the purposes of this, I'm just going to get to it and show y'all. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. So I am back here on one of my Etsy listings. And now when you hover over your listing, you can actually see this little pencil icon right here. If you click on that, you can edit your alt text. Now, I went ahead and did this um, in the alt text and I clicked on save. Um, and it could very well just be because I have that, that there. So I'm gonna try a comma and I'm going to click on save. That will save your alt text. Now you can go ahead and, all right, it's not letting me publish, that's fine. Click on manage and view on Etsy. And if you hover over, you're not gonna be able to see the alt text right away. What you wanna do is click on 
your main store and just hover over the photo. And you can see when you hover over the photo, all of the titles are pulling into the alt text. Now, you did just see me change this one. I did go ahead and see if it changed on another window after I cleared my cache and you can see that it's still pulling the title. So I'm not sure why that is. This is another reason why I'm saying don't put a ton of time into it because I'm not sure how long it's gonna take for Etsy to roll this out after you've made the changes to your listings. Maybe just try to do it in the future. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about alt text, what it is for, what it means, how you can edit your alt text, and just reinforce that it is not something that you should lose your mind over, which a lot of people currently are on the Etsy forums. That's all I got for you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment in the comments box below or head on over to the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. And as always, if you got something out of this video, please click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. If you need anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out and I will catch y'all on the next video. Have a great day.